All right, guys. First video in a couple weeks. First toy hunt in two weeks at Walmart. Actually, back to my closest Walmart for the first time in like over a month. Don't really have high hopes I'll find anything new, even though I've heard that there's a SummerSlam cube showing up at select Walmarts. Elite 59 has hit retail along with the SummerSlam elites and a whole lot of sales. Um, also, find a little side here. Oh man, this crow was enjoying a little bit of a Snickers bar somebody left behind. Interesting things you see at Walmart. People at Walmart, how about the birds of Walmart? <laughs> but anyways guys, uh, I'm gonna get ready to go on inside. And also, might see if, uh, if there's a figure here that shouldn't be here anymore that's in the clearance, but you know, that might be an indicator where or not there'll be anything in stock, but I guess we're about to find out. All right guys, about to head down to the toy section. Didn't fill in the clearance section because, well, there was no toys in the clearance aisle, but you know what? I guess that maybe it's a good thing. All right, well, and the toy aisle, and well, I guess some good and some bad. At least this Walmart has elites again. Too bad it's all the figures I already have from Elite 56, Roman Reigns, and we got, well, it's like everybody in the set's pretty much here, but Joe. Well, I mean, I can't really complain. Oh, wow. Okay, I actually kind of like this Dean Ambrose. It's basic. You know, I may have to get this. I don't know. I'm... Dang, look at me. AJ Styles figures there are. There's got to be at least... Yeah, there's two of AJ, two of Roman, one of each of the Good Brothers. I mean, wow. So, I guess not too bad. Hey, got Finn Balor. Naomi, so at least they got the latest set of basics here. Rusev, Ambrose, looks like nobody with the, ch with the briefcase. Well, hey, it's not bad at least. At least that gives me faith that they'll start stocking Elite 59 and the SummerSlam Elites at some point. Also, I guess we'll take a look at the other stuff. Sadly, this Walmart doesn't have any of the legacy items like the other Walmart I went to two weeks ago. Just, just Ninja Steel. I was about to say I don't care much for Power Rangers Ninja Steel, but I like the legacy stuff. My Morphin, Zeo, you know, Dino Thunder. I mean, I guess these are okay, but nothing I really care for too much. I mean, I do like this kind of, but I don't really have an interest in picking it up. And surprisingly, this form never has WWE diecast metal figure. It's always Street Fighter, Harry Potter, Disney, DC. I mean, I guess good, decent selection of Marvel stuff. Now they still got, looks like, you know, the Avengers and Black Panther. So I guess that's not bad. Um... Oh look, finally, they, they got all four of the 12-inch turtle figures. Michelangelo had been asses from this Walmart for the longest time. Well, I guess not so bad in the toy aisle. You know, not really a complete win, but hey, at least not a disappointment. So, I guess we'll take home this Dean Ambrose. Too bad it doesn't come with the Money Bank Chase briefcase, but hey, it's better than nothing. I don't know, I'm almost kind of tempted to pick up another AJ if I didn't already have it, but I really don't feel like picking up two of every figure that I already have. But still, not bad. Plus, you guys can go back and watch, a, I think it was episode three of my birthday toy hunt. Also, these aren't going anywhere because they're still waiting on the next flashback series with the J.J. Dillon build figure, plus the Elite's The Heartbreak Hotel, which is going to have the first ever London Blaze Mattel figure. And I guess we'll look at the other figures real quick. We'll get some Incredibles. I haven't seen the movie yet. I've seen the first movie, but I still haven't seen the second one. And some Jurassic World stuff. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Arr. Give this video a like and comment and hit that bell so you do not forget to have notifications. You heard him, guys. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> I know. I'm glad there's nobody else in the toy aisle because I'd be real embarrassed right now. All right, so that's that's a look at all this stuff. And also, here's a look at the diecast cars. Speaking of that, we're going to go look at the Hot Wheels here in a moment.
Subscribe! Okay guys, as promised, little trip here down the Hot Wheels and Diecast Car Isle. Not too much of interest, I mean not a bad selection, all, it's all the new stuff. I mean, as always, you guys know I love my Mustangs, if you've been following me on this channel for many years. Trying to look down and try to see what I could find. I mean, I guess that's not too bad for Corvette. As always, doing this one hand, it kind of sucks. Probably no Mustang today, which is alright. I think I have enough for the time being. Yeah, probably not going to find a Mustang today. Of course, uh, check out this 5-pack here for DC Justice League. Of course, the only car that really is an accurate car in the DC Universe is this Batmobile. Everything else is just for each hero, but still pretty cool. Um... All right, gonna make another little stop here. Sorry, I got a little quiet towards the end of my little, you know, hunt in the diecast slash, slash Hot Wheels section. So a couple of people came over there, so I kind of felt a little embarrassed by filming, but uh, kind of tempted to pick this pop up. This is the only WWE one I can find, and it's of the bad guy, Razor Ramon. Say hello to the bad guy. Of course, if you guys remember in the earlier toy hunts, I've already picked up Alexa Bliss, and so far I don't see The Rock or. Braun Strowman around here anywhere, but it's cool to find Razor Ramon. I'm kind of either going to get him or I might get both him and Ambrose. I don't know. It kind of depends on how I'm feeling. Not too much else to pop that I really care about. But yeah, that's really about it. So, I don't know. may get this. I may not. You guys will see at the end of the video when I show my pickups. And of course, you know when there's a Hot Wheels dump bin, I have to dig through it to see what I can find, and well, it looks like for the most part, while there's still a good decent stock of Hot Wheels here, probably the rare ones have already been taken. But, find these, these look pretty cool, like nice little Corvette, Grand Sport Roaster. I don't know what all is in set though, because it says 3 of 10, but... There really isn't anything listed about AR cars in this little subset. But I've seen a few that go along with it. If I can find them. Of course, don't always have my hopes up for Mustangs, but you know, it's always it's good to little uh, you know the to, to dig around, I guess. Cool little red line tires on this 2015 Mercedes AMG GT. This is kind of a cool looking, nice little you know, bone shaker. That's always a you know a fan favorite, I believe. A lot of the same stuff I've already seen in the main aisle, but you know, at least kind of good to dig around, I guess. Like I said, probably all the rare stuff's already gone. Just tell them by how this parts he's dumping are half empty. Rise and climb. Another one of the 
these ones right here, the Hot Wheels 50th Anniversary Race Team. Alright, well, I'm not going to spend too much time digging through this. Cloak and Dagger, that's an interesting one. And this one I saw earlier, but here's a little more of a good shot, I guess, to go along with the dino theme. <laughs> Yeah, nice Camaro. Alright, well, I'm not going to spend too much time digging around. I got some other stuff I got to go buy. So yeah, that's probably going to be about it for this toy run. Okay, guys. Going to do this a little short and sweet. As you can see, these were my only pickups today from Walmart. As I said before, the selection wasn't bad. To see Elite 56 again, and at this Walmart I usually go to, when the last time I was there, there was no Elites, but like John Cena and Charlotte Flair on clearance, which, by the way, uh, that was the figure I hinted at earlier in the video that was supposed to be in clearance originally. Well, it was gone. Thank God. Not that I hate Charlotte or anything. It's a nice figure. But anyways, get into the figures I picked up here, as you see. Basic Series 84, Dean Ambrose. With the no good Dean Ambrose shirt, which is a playoff of Jack Daniels whiskey. But anyways, uh, really cool figure. You know, everybody should know by now that has been following this channel. I'm a big Dean Ambrose fan. I bought his his most latest uh, basic Elite Series 58 back around the time of my birthday, and this is just the pretty much the basic version. Which also the SummerSlam Elite, I believe, also has this shirt. And, uh, and, you know, it was kind of at this point I couldn't find the SummerSlam Elites, but, you know what, it's alright. I'm sure as we get closer to the pay view in the next month, since it's July, SummerSlam's not till August, I'm sure those cubes will be out for at least another couple months or so. So I'll, I'll try again here, probably another week or so, to try to find those figures. But definitely, this is probably one I, I, I debated on buying. I was like, you know what, I don't buy Pops very often. But I probably would regret passing on it. I'm gonna cut you up. Yep, no, none other than the bad guy himself, Razor Ramon. I mean, I just, I couldn't pass on him. If I could have found a, The Rock, I probably would have bought The Rocket, but I'm a Scott Hall Razor Ramon fan, so I was like, you know, why not? It would be nice to have seen maybe him or... Or Strowman. Once again, take a look at the back of the box. I know I showed that already in the, in the aisle, which The Rock, I believe, is a chase. Because I've seen pictures of him wearing an orange shirt. I think there's been some pops that have shown him in the, in the orange version of that. And also, there's going to be uh, an elite attitude or figure of The Rock that will be out, I think, in September. Because they just put out the uh, best of the attitude era elites of Chris Jericho and, and Austin now. They're probably not hitting retail since Toys R Us is now out of business, but... For sure, Amazon, Ringside, Walkout Wear have those elites, and they put Triple H for pre-order. But yeah, not a whole lot of the figures. Of course, back of this box. Everybody was practically there. I don't think I saw Kevin Owens. You guys can go back and watch the video. Maybe he was there. I Honestly, besides his elites, I don't care for basics. I was also kind of tempted to pick up the Finn Balor I saw. More than anything, if I'm going to get a, a, a non-Demon Balor, I kind of wanted the one that was at Toys R Us. Which my toys are sadly before closed and did not have the Fan Central Balor with the shirt painted on. Or I'm going to get the Demon Balors, which I'm kind of tempted when I find Elite 59 to get that Balor. Even though I, it's uh, practically identical to the Elite 41, but probably some differences. I know I'm just mentioning stuff, but I know this was not much of a pickup. But you know what, hey, two is better than none. Actually, you know what, why not? This is not a toy, but I know I'm sure a lot of you guys are comic fans. Picked up Deadpool. Why not? I didn't have this move in my collection. I haven't seen a second one yet. In fact, I really haven't watched much of the first one, honestly. Yeah, I know. Somebody take my nerd card. It's not that I haven't wanted to see it. I just haven't really had a chance. I was like, you know what? Pick up something. You damn right you better pick me up. You talk about cutting people up. I'll cut you up, Scott Hall. Seriously, though. You should have picked me up sooner. All right, Deadpool. That's enough. <laughs> All right, I know that was goofy, but I gotta have fun. Yeah, I'm I'm behind the camera for one step in front of it, but uh, yeah, I try to keep this little outro short. It's probably gone a little longer than it should have. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully, I can do our toy hunt again in another week or so. 
Try to keep my fingers crossed I can eventually find Elite Series 59. Find the SummerSlam Elites. Uh, shoot. I heard the Milkamania Epic Moments 3-pack with Kurt Angle, Steph McMahon, and Steve Austin is coming, is already coming out of retail. From what I've heard. So I definitely can't wait to see where those will end up without Toys R Us. But uh, that's about it. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a like. If you're if you are subscribed to my channel, make sure that bell is hit so you guys can be notified of videos whenever they go up. And of course, you know, uh, that's about it. Anyways, guys, rock on and keep collecting.